Hi friends, how you doing? Today I want to show you um, how you can make faster renders um, from your Cinema 4D scenes using Octane Renderer uh, simply by exporting um, to an OR, ORBX file for the for the for the Octane standalone software to make the render. It is much much more faster than using the the Octane plugin. Um, for this example, I have this simple scene, which is which is just a simple simulation. But as you can see, the the whole picture is full with uh, objects and uh, textures. Uh, we have this uh, dynamic collision piece that is oscillating and this ball which is uh, moving accordingly to the to the, the pendulum I don't know how to call it um, and there are some subtleties on this scene because there's a depth of view on the camera there is motion blur on the camera motion blur on every object I also added uh, round corners from uh, Octane textures just to be sure that I have everything you can have except displacement on the scene and this is the Cinema 4D render that I did inside Cinema 4D well the, sim the scene is quite simple as you can see it's just a ball moving um, the simulation is quite simple so I I didn't put um, set the simulation into a cache my render settings are uh, quite simple also pass tracing max sample at 40 and uh, 30 140 uh, diffuse and specular depth are um, set to 12, not uh, 18. Um, and that's all. Expect the filter size I used to. I prefer the 1.1 filter size with a sharper edges. And no alpha channel. And for the rendering, I am using three uh, GPUs uh, a 4080 and two. Uh, 3080 RTX is activated so I did the uh, render on cinema 4d and here is the result here on the left I started the render at uh, 1135 and it ended uh, rendering uh, um, 500 pictures in uh, 55 minutes at uh, 12.30 uh, 55 minutes on Cinema 4D so what I did is simply um, save the project as uh, so let me use a new name ORBX4 and I went back to the render settings I uh, keep the same settings for the output uh, in uh, um, HD, full HD, uh, and uh, 0 to uh, 500 uh, frames. I turned off the save function from uh, the render settings because I don't want the Cinema 4D to save the pictures. Uh, back to the Octane Renderer settings here at the bottom. I've enabled the uh, ORBX exporter. Ignore rendering, so I don't want uh, Cinema 4D to render the pictures. And open in standalone. While uh, at the end of the of the export of the ORBX file, um, Octane standalone will automatically be opened with the scene. Oh, I'm still on the picture right uh, so let me set the ORBX file name um, here fun ball and I want to use a new one because I've already made some tests which are which gives me all the same conclusion so no save 
and export to uh, ORBX file. I just click on start export. Uh, there's no file name specified for the rendering. Yes, it's all right. So now Cinema 4D is exporting uh, the ORBX file with every um, every animated uh, picture in it. So the simulation is done. Everything's fine. And now the Octane Render uh, standalone software starts automatically. And the scene has been loaded. We can take a look at the size of the of the ORBX. Let me sort. Uh, where's the ORBX file? Is here at the bottom. Sorry. Uh, so the file is eleven megabytes, and my source scene is uh, 25 megabytes so the ORBX file is smaller twice smaller so now uh, inside the standalone I just need to select the render target if you want to make a zoom in or out just don't drag or use your mouse wheel without uh, pressing the control because you will change the camera position so press control and use your wheel so you can uh, zoom in or out and you can scrub on the scene to check if everything is okay and now from the script menu use the batch rendering function and everything's fine now render target as PNG frame weight 25 start frame zero end frame uh, 500 I used to remove the percent s the underscore percent s from the file name and choose an output folder here so I'm gonna choose a, another one for a new test so control C let me go back to renders new folder uh, so this is ORBX4 rendered number one and everything's fine the path file is defined so I only need to click on start and the renders the render begins fast enough for me so I'll just cancel right now to show you uh, what I hand of what I end up with. Here are the files from the standalone renderer um, starting at, uh, let me change the modified, it. starting at uh, 12 uh, 35 and ending at 13 and 11 minutes. Uh, 13 13 13. 30, 13, 13, yeah, sorry, I was spelling my English in my head. As you can see, uh, the file size is not exactly the same, but uh, it's okay. Um, from the standalone renderer, the render only took uh, 36 minutes, while from C4D, it took uh, 55 minutes so it's uh, a gain of 35% uh, in speed which is uh, I think um, huge and if you want to see that there is no difference between the two renders here on this After Effects timeline I have uh, the first render from Cinema 4D that took that took 40, 4, 45 minutes. So here it is. I just added uh, a level filter to have some more light on the scene. And at the bottom here, it's the it's the sequence 
rendered by um, Octane standalone and I used some keys to turn the sequence on and off every second so you can see the difference between the Cinema 4D render and the, the Octane standalone render on Let's Play It and as you can see there is no difference at all there is just a little something that I really don't like as you can see here using round corners if you don't have enough uh, um, subdivisions on your polygons you and um, if you use a depth of field with um, some kind of uh, re reflection on the material you will get those strange points here uh, on the rounded corners that's why I don't like round the corners uh, oh sorry let me show you here frame by frame as you can see the rounded corners tends to uh, something like having the same uh, having, having the same uh, changing from point to point and I don't really like this really like it sorry uh, but uh, as you can see um, there is no difference at all between the Cinema 4D render and uh, the Octane standalone render everything's the same uh, so why the hell is it so fast on the standalone renderer um, I don't know I really don't know why um, but um, I did some some 3d scenes on Cinema 4D and Octane um, three weeks ago and um, there, are, there were some scenes that I uh, sent to Octane standalone using the ORBX file format uh, some, scene, some scenes uh, was expected to be uh, rendered in eight hours something like that and uh, I was really surprised to see that after four or five hours the the rendering was done so I wanted to clarify this for me and make this scene just to test it and uh, I really don't know why but it is faster really much faster I don't think it is uh, because of the time uh, Cinema 4D takes to send each image to um, the Octane plugin renderer uh, because the scene is really simple even if there are many effects like depth of field or motion blur um, I, I don't really understand why but uh, the fact is that it is really really faster so use it as much as you can it will save you um, hours so this is priceless so if you like this video just uh, click on the thumb up if you don't like thumb down give me a comment and subscribe for more tips and tricks and have a nice day into the motion design journey see you soon bye